This is... Holy shit, you guys did it. You got episode 2 to 5,000 likes. Now, I know, I know, it reached 5,000 likes a couple weeks ago, and you guys have been absolutely spamming me with comments to release episode 3. Part 3, please. Waiting for episode 3. Episode 3. Left me hanging there. Which way are 5,000 likes, then you plus it part 3. 5,000 likes, where's episode 3? place to stop order at 5,000 likes. Episode 3, please. Well, here it is. Now, if there was ever a crucial video to watch, this is the one. This is probably gonna be the most important video out of the whole series, because it's gonna be going over the absolute core of how the markets are structured. See what I did there? I said core and I zoomed into the apple. <sighs> Moving on. Now, by watching this one video, it's actually gonna drastically put you ahead of the competition, because most traders skip this step entirely, or some don't even know about it. Hell, I've seen some quote-unquote professional traders even go against this rule. So, I cannot stress this enough, you did a good job by clicking this video. This is basically the foundation of everything I'm gonna teach you in future episodes. Let's not waste any time, let's get straight into it. Now, as you guys already know, or I'm assuming you know, the market is made up of highs and lows. Kinda like a roller coaster. The market is always fluctuating. Our job as a trader is identifying how the market is currently fluctuating. If it's currently going up, down, or consolidating. Now, you may be thinking, Trading web, are you an absolute idiot? Can you not see? You can just look at the chart and tell if a market is moving up or down. First off, that was kinda mean. Second off, I'm gonna have to ask you to calm down. This is actually the part where most traders make the mistake. Looking back at a chart, it's very easy to say, oh yeah, price is uptrending here. Then, it started to consolidate and then started downtrending. Easy peasy. Yes, a monkey with a computer can look back at a chart and tell what it did, no offense to monkeys. But if you've ever traded live, you've probably realized it's a lot harder to tell if it's an uptrend, downtrend, or consolidating while live trading. And if you don't know what direction the market is trending, well, you're really just guessing at that point, and you're bound to lose in the long run. But what if I told you that I have a secret formula and a step-by-step -step guide to easily identify what type of market you're in? That would be pretty cool, right? Well, here it is. But first, let's talk about today's sponsor, Hanko Trade. If you don't know, Hanker Trade is a forex pro. So if you've ever wanted to trade currencies like the dollar, the euro, or the yen, this is how you would do it. Trading currencies in forex is seriously one of the best ways to trade. A lot of traders actually think it's the best way to trade because the markets are a lot more stable and easier to predict, which is always a good thing when you're a trader. So if you want to trade these currencies, Hanker Trade is the way you would do it. They are also running a special promotion where if it's your first time depositing and you sign up with the link in my description, they they will match whatever you first deposit. So if you deposit, say, $183. Kind of a weird amount to deposit, but hey, you do you. Once you deposit that $183, they will match that and give you an extra $183 to trade with. They're awesome. I'll leave the link in the description. Thank you for sponsoring this video, Hanker Trade. Let's get back to the video. So one of the very first things you learn as a trader is highs and lows. If the market is making higher highs like this and lower highs like this, the market is trending up. If the market is making lower lows and lower highs like this, the market is trending downwards. Pretty simple. So say if the chart does something like this. It makes an upwards movement. Now, if we go by what we just learned, we'll see that the chart is making higher highs and higher lows. So we can call this an uptrend, which it is. So far, so good. But then something interesting happens. The chart will start moving downwards, making this low like this. Now, this exact point is where I see the masses make the mistake. Not even joking, I've seen professional traders make this mistake. A lot of traders, when they see price make this low right here, they think the chart is now in a reversal because it made this low, and they think it's going to start heading downwards. So a lot of traders, they'll enter a short right at this breaking point. This is a crucial mistake. What if I told you this chart is still fundamentally bullish? You see, sure price made this low right here, but this is not a valid low. Why? Because price Price never broke the higher low, which is right here. In order for price to turn bearish, price needs to break this point, which 
it never does. The chart is bullish until that break happens. So here is usually where the shorters will enter their trade and end up running into trouble because the chart will head upwards after this, making them lose the trade. Now you might be a little confused, so let's really clear this up. A low is only validated if price makes a high, okay? So in this example, we have this. This low is only an official low once price breaks this point, which is the high. If price just does this and doesn't cross that high mark, this is not an official low. So here we cross, we now have a valid higher low, and now we're starting to make higher highs. So we now know this chart is an official uptrend. And now that we have that bias in the back of our head, we can now take bullish only trades. It will only be considered a downtrend if price breaks this point. It can do anything after this point. It can go up, down, sideways, anything after this point, as long as it doesn't break this low, it's an uptrend. So continuing with our example, if price does something like this, you may get confused and think this is a low. If you remember from the core idea of what I said earlier, we only consider it a low if it breaks the prior high. So in order for this to be an official low, it has to break this point. So say if it does break this point, our new low point to break is moved from here to here. This is our new low. So now for price to be considered a downtrend, it now has to break this point. And then the process continues. Let's do a bearish example. Price is making lower highs and lower lows. We only consider this point a high if it breaks the low, which it did. So the price action is in a downtrend and the only way for it to be considered a reversal and to be considered an uptrend is if price breaks this point. So if price does this, a lot of new traders will think this is a break and the chart is now uptrending. But this high is not validated because we didn't break this low and we have not crossed the actual valid high point yet, which is right here. Until we do, we are still in a downtrend. So in this example, you should only be taking short trades. Once price breaks this point, we are now officially in an uptrend and you can start taking bullish trades. It might seem a little confusing at first, but if you're having trouble, just rewind the video a couple times to really get this idea down. I promise once you understand the structure technique, it really becomes second nature seeing it on charts and you don't really even have to think about it. It's an extremely important part of trading and if you master this, you're really passing a lot of traders by knowing just this simple technique. You guys seem to be really liking this series, so if this video gets a lot of love, I'll release an episode 4. And as you guys already know, we are going to get more and more advanced as the series moves forward. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.